Joey, do you see Nell yet? Not yet. Well, I can't wait. I have a faculty meeting that I have got to get to. Addie, please! Remember, Aunt Nell just called and said you have to wait until she gets here. Yeah, well, she did sound excited on the phone. Well, maybe she found a shoe store that was having a sale. Yeah, that always turns her on. No, then she would have said, come down to the sale, and that told us to wait here for her. Joey, do you see her yet? Not yet. Well, maybe it has something to do with a man. That turns her on almost as much as shoes. <laughs> well, she, she said that something wonderful happened to her. Maybe she's getting married. No. The only man in her life is Adrian Longhurst, and she's only known him for two days. I wonder where they'll hold the wedding. <laughs> here she comes! Here she comes! Oh, hi, everybody. Hi! Oh, boy. everybody's attention. <laughs> Do you remember when my grandmother passed away and she left all that property to her grandchildren? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, come to think of it, I had forgotten all about that. And? Oh, well, anyway, they sold the property and they divided the money between the children and my share came out to $1,588.80. Oh, to take off their shoes and socks and walk barefoot through my money. Oh, oh now I am so happy for Ooh. you. Now, how come you brought it all in cash? Well, see, I was at the bank and I was just about to deposit into my savings account when I heard this old lady's voice. It was my grandmother's voice. Yeah? Yeah. She said, Nail. <laughs> Honey, when you're up to your hips in high cotton, pick it. No. <laughs> when you're up to your hips in high cotton, go for the whole wagon load. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, honey, that means that when it's found money, you go out and spend it on something that's fun. So what you gonna do with it now? Well, I gotta figure it out. There are eight of us, so that means that each one of us gets $198.60. What? Oh, yeah. 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 To spend on something fun, you know, get yourself something that you always wanted but never did get, you know? Oh, no, 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 just let me divide it up, okay? No, you're really serious about giving us the money? Yeah. I mean, the family's been so good with money lately, we've only spent it on the bare necessities. I mean, like food, and shoes, household expenses, and shoes, and education, and, and shoes. Well, that's very sweet, but we can't take this money from uh, you. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're being very generous, but really, none of us wants to take your money and just throw it away. No, it's not you know, all. Boring, 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 doll, doll, doll. You are a boring doll family. I mean, George Bush is more excited than you. <laughs> and you are the epitome of a boring doll friend. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, ever since I was a little girl of three, it was just this one thing I've always wanted, but I never got it because, well, I, I, I thought I couldn't afford it. Well, today, I took my share, my $198.60, and I got it. A cuckoo clock. Perfect. <laughs> That's what you've always wanted? Well, that and a Maserati. <laughs> but you know, the important thing is that it was found money, so I went out and had fun. 
So now every time my little cuckoo cuckoos, I'm going to have a smile on my face. But of course, you people wouldn't know anything about smiling. That's why you ain't got no dimples. <laughs> okay, I'll break the ice. I'll take my money. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're gonna go by age. That's a good idea. Youngest first. Go ahead. Joey always gets to go first. <laughs> now we can spend this money on anything we want, right? Now. Right, as long as it's frivolous. Hey, well, let's get together Friday night and see what everybody bought. We'll make it a party. Okay, okay. I, I, I can't. I'm working Friday. Oh. But I'll call in sick. Now that's frivolous. <laughs> oh, I love this family. I mean, this is all so, it's so. <laughs> oh, get now. Not now, Joey. Not now. now. Joey, please, in one minute, my cuckoo's gonna come. I got a cuckoo clock and cuckoo. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight. No. All right, Julie, please, not now. Well, Nell, don't you want to see Julie, Julie, I just tell you not now, Dr. Bob. <laughs> do you know what you just made me do? <laughs> what? You just made me miss my bird. <laughs> you don't have to be so upset now. All you have to do is move the big hand on the clock back a minute. Just move the big hand on the clock back a minute. Anybody can do that. The fun thing is watching it happen naturally, just like the little old clock maker in Switzerland intended it to be. Now, that clock was made in Hong Kong. I know, by a Swiss refugee. <laughs> Thank you. Resident, resident, occupant, res. Oh, oh. oh. Here's a hot one. This is my bank statement. <clears throat> oh, look, Joey got a letter. I didn't know he was a member of the Smithsonian Institute. <laughs> oh, and Julie? Yeah. I'm sorry. Me too. I just received my monthly bank statement here, and you people have made a terrible mistake. I'll have to put this into the computer. It'll just be a moment. Thank you. Since. <laughs> oh, hi, Nell. Are you all right? I can't remember. I can't remember my automatic teller secret code number. Well, honey, don't you usually use numbers that are easy to remember? You know, like your address or, 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 or your birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In fact, the secret code I used was the exact date I got my automatic teller card. But I can't remember when that was. <laughs> Life is difficult for you, isn't it? It's no walk in the park. <laughs> okay, well, good luck, honey. Oh, uh, by the way, Nell. Yeah. I heard about the money you got from Alabama and how you gave it all to your family <laughs> and your best friend and told them to go out and spend it on something fun. <laughs> Boy, you are really something. <laughs> Miss Harper. Oh, excuse me, please. Yes. I think I found the problem. No hard feelings. You cashed a check at the bank several days ago for $1,588.80. Yes. That check was returned for insufficient funds. <laughs> it bounced? <laughs> no, there must be some mistake here, honey. Well, when you what? When your check bounced. 
Since we'd already given you the cash, we had to deduct the $1,588.80 from your account, which leaves you with a balance of $24.08, just as the statement indicates. Oh, please, you got to run that through for me again. I can't afford to have $1,500 taken out of my account. Well... Again with the wheel. <laughs> All right. We'll run it through the computer again. All right. You'll through the computer again? <laughs> this won't take long. I just have to key in your coat again. There it is. Oh, Miss Harper, the, the computer did make an error. Well, I'm just glad you admitted it. Because I was just about to draw all of my money out of this bank, baby. Your balance is not $24.08. It's $19.08. Operator, could you please help me? I'm having trouble reaching a number in Alabama. Yes, I know the area code is 205. No, I can't dial it. I don't have any fingers. <laughs> the number is area code 205-555-7827. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Mama. Th this is Nell. Your daughter. <laughs> yes, Mama, I think that's very funny. I just love it when you forget my name. It's now, Mama. <laughs> Mama, look, do you remember the money that we got from selling Grandma's property? No, Mama, I did not go out and just throw it away. Listen, I was having a little trouble cashing my check, and I was wondering if you could call Cousin Melville to see if she had the trouble cashing. Oh? You're not speaking to her. Okay. Well, Mama, maybe you can call Cousin Wilma and then you can... You're not speaking to her either. <laughs> oh, Mama, you can call Cousin Jody. I know you're speaking to her. You love her. You've always loved her. She's not speaking to you? <laughs> yes, Mama. Yes, you're right, Mama. You're right. Everybody on Daddy's side of the family is crazy. <laughs> Shut up! Mama, I'm talking to a clock. People in California talk to appliances. Shut! Mama, this clock, all it's doing is reminding me of the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. No, Mama. I don't need you to make a list of all the other dumb things I've done. <laughs> Mama, please, just call them for me. Mama, you know, you're acting like a four-year-old. Forget you, old lady. Just give me their numbers. <laughs> what do you mean you can't give me their numbers? Now you're not speaking to me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yes. <laughs> You can't run. <laughs> Joey, would you please stop putting your finger in the icing? You're gonna have plenty of time to eat that at the party, okay? Okay. <laughs> You got plenty of time to watch that cuckoo come out. It comes out every hour on the hour to stick his tongue out at me. <laughs> okay, Aunt Nell. <laughs> when you do come out, I'm gonna kill you! Maybe I caught you at a bad time. Who are you gonna kill? That cuckoo! It comes out every hour, on the hour, Lord knows. One, two, three, just to taunt me, to haunt me, to tease me, to make fun of me. The stupid old nail bird. <laughs> yeah, I thought you loved your cuckoo clock. Oh, please. It's just a symbol of waste, of reckless spending. Addie, 
You know the check that I got for my grandmother's property? Sure. Well, I cashed it. It bounced. <laughs> broke. Now I'm in big trouble. Oh, honey, that's terrible. Are you going to ask everybody to give the money back? Oh, Addie, please. I can't ask them to give the money back. They're my family. I almost forced them to take it. That's I call them boring and dull people. I can't go up to them and say, hey, you boring, dull people, give me back my money. <laughs> They're my family. You're my oldest and dearest friend. You're not family. Give me back my money. <laughs> I spent six hours yesterday at the Narcissus Health and Beauty Spa. I got the whole enchilada. I got a massage, a sauna, a manicure, a pedicure, got my hair done, and got a facial. <laughs> you would go that route, would you, old tramp? <laughs> tramp? Yes. Trampy, 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 tramp. I bet you went out with your freshly painted toenails and your newly done skin and tried to pick up some dumb old guy and make him think that you look that way all the time. <laughs> Nothing personal, Nell, but do you really expect people to believe you were born with kiss of indigo eyelids? <laughs> this is all your fault. My fault? Yes. Oh. You stood there and watched me hand out all that money like I was the head of OPEC. <laughs> Now, I thought you were doing a terrific thing. In the spirit of your grandmother's wonderful philosophy, found money should be spent. You're lucky. My grandmother was the cheapest old lady you ever saw. You know she used to bury her money in a soup can in the backyard? Where, Addie? Where? I never... Please tell me where. You are sick. All right, Nell. Even though I've spent every cent, I'm gonna pay you back. Cause you know why? Cause you're getting on my last I nerve. Mean, I, mean, I don't know why I did take the money, you know? I, I don't know why I'm doing this, Addie. I'm sorry. I mean, you are my oldest and my dearest friend. That's what you keep telling me. <laughs> Here. I can't take this. Good. Get me back. Up. <laughs> Now, maybe the family didn't spend the money. Why don't you just ask them for it back? Addie, I told you I can't. They're my family. Oh, who cares? So I'm broke. So I'm broke. I just have to put on a happy face, and I just have to smile at their good fortune. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Nell. Hi, Oh, hi, hi, Katie. I can't wait till tonight to find out what everybody spent their money on. Can you? No, 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 no. no. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. <laughs> so... I guess you spent your money. Oh, yeah. Well, do you mind telling your old Aunt Nell what you spent it on? Oh, sure, I don't mind. I got the most fantastic Picasso print for my apartment. You threw away my money on a bomb like Picasso? <laughs> Picasso was a great artist. Oh, please, I wouldn't let him paint my bathroom. <laughs> Nell, you don't like Picasso. I like Picasso. You said we should spend the money on something we wanted. Addie, shoes I can understand, but Picasso? <laughs> now, about that happy face, you got it on upside down. <laughs> cuckoo! Cuckoo! Oh, you were supposed to be a surprise. Come on, you know about that. Guys, come on, what are we waiting for? Let's just all tell what we bought. Okay. No, could, right. Wait, could you just wait one moment? I'll be right back. Nobody knows. Happy <laughs> 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 days are here again. Do, 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 do. <laughs> now, Julie and I took to heart your grandmother's philosophy that found money should be spent on something frivolous. <laughs> but uh, then we got to thinking, now every time you find money, you give it to all of us. So, with your found money, well, we got you something that we heard you say you always wanted. You got me something. Yeah. Sam and I did the same thing. But you told this me that you... This is incredible. Could... So did I. Well, you said you so did I. Yeah, but I, I didn't spend all the money on your gift. No, no. I saved out $22 and bought you lottery tickets. <gasps> wow! Oh. You lost. <laughs> I just 
just don't know what to say. Well, so why don't you shut up and open your presents, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And hey, look. Oh. It is an original Mickey Mouse watch. <laughs> A mouse to replace my cuckoo. <laughs> All right, we're next. Nell, I lied about the Picasso. Sam and I pulled our money. Yeah. We couldn't think of anything else that would make you happy. Really? Yes. It's a gift certificate for $396.20. Addie, it's to Morrison's shoe store. Oh, I think it just died. <laughs> oh. Now, I know you like to read in bed, so I went out and I got you this little reading lamp. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, it's just what I wanted. The belly button's a night light. <laughs> you know, Grandpa, I would truly be honored if you were to use this for a while. No, no need to, Nell. I got one for myself, too. <laughs> Now, I lied about the beauty spa. Instead, I got you this. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Nell, isn't it exciting? Mm. Nell, Nell. Now, now, mm. over here. Look, I got a limo, dinner, and a night out on the town for you and me. Oh, Addie, this is like <laughs> dying and going to heaven all over again. Oh. Oh. Listen, guys. The car is waiting now. Well, wait a minute. I have a confession to make. You see, at first, I thought my grandmama was really stupid, you know, about spending foul money. But now I realize that I was really wrong. I mean, you, your family, you, you, you just, you've just given me so much love that I just feel like the richest woman in the whole world. Aww. And Addie, I'm sorry, honey. I knew you were lying to me about going to the spa. I mean, I could take just one look at you and see that you have a face. Are you the driver? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know? Yes. I feel awful. That's nice, honey. <laughs> I'm the only one that didn't get you anything. That's okay, honey. I know you really love me. <laughs> I did something bad, Aunt Nell. What? You know that money that you gave me? Yeah. Well, I put it all in my school savings account. You put all that money in your school savings account? Yeah. Now I've got $612.93. Hey, I'm loaded. <gasps> oh, Joey, I'm so mm. proud of you. <laughs> We're going to have to talk later, though. <laughs> well, darling, your limo awaits. Dear, uh... Addie is my oldest and closest friend. She'll drive. You will be in the back seat with me. 